Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. And today we're gonna to be talking about, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice. Is that if there's one thing that you can do to become a better angler quickly, what it is, uh, you know, this channel, The Fishing Teacher, is designed for, you know, guys getting started or intermediate type anglers. And um, I'm always sort of thinking about things that you can do, practical things you can do to become a better angler quicker because everybody wants to you know, shorten the learning curve. So we're going to get into that. So if there's one thing that you can do, like that you have control over that will quickly accelerate your, your success in the water, it's learning to become a better caster. As simple as it sounds, guys, do not overlook it because the casting skills you have in bass fishing is everything especially if you're fishing targets. Now, if you're fishing open water, it's still important because you still have to make casts of a certain length and distance. But if you're fishing shallow water targets, which is pretty much the primary type of structures the guys starting out are fishing, like docks and you know lay down trees and grass beds and <clears throat> rocky banks and that type of stuff, the, the ability that you have to put your lure exactly where you want to, it completely makes or breaks the difference whether you're going to catch a fish or not because a lot of times a matter of like three or four inches it will determine if you get a strike or not let's say for example if you're throwing a crankbait or a spinnerbait next to a stump in the water if you can't put that crankbait or that stump or that uh, spinnerbait within inches of that stump those fish will not come out and get it if you, if you try to put it a foot away from the stump a lot of times you're not going to get a bite but if you can put it within two or three inches of that stump you're going to get a bite it's the same if you're like pitching or flipping around a boat dock. If you can get it, you know, four foot under that dock into the shady areas, you've got a lot better chance of catching a fish than if you put it on the edge of that dock. Um, casting accuracy and the ability to put that bait exactly where you want it is paramount in fishing. So one of the easiest ways you can do this, guys, is you can do it at home. You can do it in your living room. You can do it in your backyard. It doesn't really make any difference. Just try to spend time getting good. Try to spend time, you know, casting sidearm, casting overhand, pitching and flipping, different motions. There, there's a, a dozen different motions and casting based upon the lure and the type of areas you're trying to get into. Skipping presentation, which is one of the hardest ones, all that type of stuff. It's like, it's like any other um, sort of muscle memory type activity. It could be putting and golf, it could be hitting a tennis racket, whatever you've got to practice to be good with it. And if you want to do something that you have control over, this is one of the easiest things you can do because guys in fishing, there's so many things that you can't control, like the weather and you know the water conditions, the water clarity, the skylight conditions, the fishing pressure, that you've got to capitalize on every possible thing that you can that's called a control variable. <clears throat> and casting is one of that. One of the best things you can do, guys, to help yourself with your casting is to get an outfit, your rod and reel that you feel comfortable with. Make sure it feels comfortable in your hand. Make, feel, make sure it feels well balanced. And it's sort of like going back to the golf club again. If you have a golf club that feels good in your hand, a lot of times you're gonna hit the ball better. And it's the same with casting. If you've got an outfit that feels good in your hand, sometimes it's a lot easier to make that cast with it. So anyway, guys, that's the tip of the day is um, if I could give you one piece of advice that will allow you to become a better angler quicker, it's uh, practice your casting skills. Do not overlook it. Just because it seems something simple and obvious, a lot of people try to dismiss it. But I can assure you guys, on any level of fishing, it doesn't make any difference if you're just starting out or if you're a professional angler, the better you are at casting, the more fish you're going to catch. So anyway, give it a try. I hope it helps out. We'll see you guys.